Well, we know the Las Vegas housing market is red hot. And as the prices set a new record, a new report says homes are becoming almost unsellable. According to a new report by Las Vegas Realtors, townhomes and condos are on the rise. The median price sits at $270,000, and that is up more than 39% from just last year. The median price for an existing single-family home now stands at $460,000, and that is up nearly 27% from a year ago. Reporter Alicia Patillo shares a local resident's journey to buying his home. Thomas Will has been renting this Henderson home for about two years now. Now when he and his wife decided it was time to buy, well, the journey came with many challenges. It wasn't fun, I would say. In the time it took for Thomas Wheel and his wife to snag a home on the market. I mean, it was very difficult to like, we'd put in offers and, and you know, there wasn't any reason why anybody would turn our stuff down. It was just that there were better offers. Thomas and his wife gambled in a competitive market for two months before making a purchase. While they checked all the boxes to qualify for a home, they still were falling short. Multiple times we were like very close to getting something and then somebody would come in with a cash offer and that happened numerous, numerous times. In the real estate world, they call this buyer fatigue. The effect on buyers to find, make an offer, then get rejected over and over again. We put bids on about I think about 10 places um, in the in those two months and finally something through. That was emotionally difficult. While Valley home prices are still climbing, there's a few factors that are actually driving down sales. One big reason, home prices and interest rates are too high. From the time that we started, like on the day that we first got pre-approved for a loan uh, it, to, to, to when we actually got our loan, uh, our interest rate rose like a, almost 0.75 of a point, um, which was hor horrible. And the proof is here. The Las Vegas Realtors reporting by the end of March, there were a little over 2,000 single family homes listed for sale without an offer. So single family residential homes, we aren't seeing as many sales as we've seen in the past, simply because those have become less affordable. However, townhomes and condos, that's where our first time home buyers went. Daniel has this advice for home buyers. Be mentally prepared, expect to pay more in a competitive market and stay positive on your journey. As for Thomas, his luck finally caught up. His family will be moving into their new home in Summerlin in a few months. We are very excited. Finally. Indeed. <laughs> That's good. You're in Henderson, near the district at Green Valley Ranch, I'm Alicia Batillo reporting.